I was looking at it. Mm. Well, I was like, is that a rock or is it like a, what is it? And then it moved. It's a cheap. It's cheaps. It's cheaps. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Jason with Haggard Wilderness here. Ashley with Haggard Wilderness here. On our way to the High Uenas for another weekend of backpacking. We're pretty stoked. We're heading up. Friday afternoon, we're hoping to uh, beat the crowds where we're parking, but we're also going to be walking, hiking completely off trail up into a spot where we hope we will see no one. Um, so, anyway, yeah, should be a good time. Stay tuned. So yes, we are in the same spot that we were in two weekends ago when I was complaining so much about people being everywhere. And we saw the moose and uh, we decided to try it out. It's just so gorgeous in this area that we figured if we go farther in than we did last time, continue up river we can probably get farther away from people and find a really nice spot made it to the spot that we kicked it at last time noticeably less water in the um, river kind of back in the trees now farther away from the river but the river will from what I'm thinking will loop back kind of line back up with us again well we opened up into this really awesome valley so ideally the river will hook back up with us on this flatter land. We do not want to have to walk through that to find a camp spot necessarily, but we're gonna keep going up and see if it meets with us. kind of like a little kind of creek side thing well what do you think what if we dropped our packs right here and then we look we just go explore around does that sound good yeah. okay guys we set the packs down to just go scout we think we found a really choice spot near water but not too deep in the grass in the bushes it's kind of open flat in spots i think it'll be really good so we're going back to get the packs check this freaking view out nice view <laughs>
Okay, we got the uh, Priya Outdoor Zion 2 person double side entry tent set up. We're going to put the rain fly on later tonight. Um, it's not totally necessary, but when we were at the bushcraft camp, the weather said 0% chance of rain and it rained for a minute so i'm just gonna put the rain fly on up here every night no matter what ashley's starting to gather some rocks for the fire so that's what's next have a fire right in the middle here hammock and chairs looking good All right guys, well, it's 7.30 right now. We're going to uh, get the fire going, cook up some steaks. Of course, there's an airplane flying over right as I film, but uh, a beautiful spot, an amazing time so far. Uh, we got some more firewood to cut. It's getting pretty chilly. Uh, I would say it's probably down into the 40s now, so. We're looking at a pretty cool night. Hopefully we stay warm uh, in our 30 degree bags. But uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful evening. So excited. The bugs are not bad at all. Um, very good time to be up here. So appreciate you guys. All right guys, so I found this uh, awesome thing on Amazon a long time ago actually. And I haven't really used it much, but I feel like I should bring it with me. So here it is, um, packs down super small, but it's a sink slash bucket. And so I'm gonna fill it up with water and keep it over there by our, uh, our fire. Fire danger right now in the Uenas is extreme, and there's a fire going on, as far as I know right now, in the state line um, reservoir area on like the Fort Bridger side 
of the UN is what we would say. But I feel like if you can have like a bucket of a gallon or two of water sitting next to the fire, it would really help. Now you can see behind me, we're in lush green. I, I don't think we're gonna have any problems, but I brought it, it's tiny, it's lightweight. Let's uh, check it out and see how it works. Uh -oh. Try to keep everything dry. We do plan on getting in the river a little bit. We brought water shoes, but check this thing out. Blows up into this cool little bucket. Might not be a gallon quite of water, but let's see if I can get it to fill up with any amount of water. Oh yeah. Oh, that works great. Look at that. That's full of water. Now the question is, is can I set it down? Will it stay upright? But that's a good grip of water right there. Let's check it out. Right here. Look at that. That is handy. God, I'd love to get that owl on film, which I am right now if I would stop talking. All right, guys, we're hanging out by the fire. Um, it's cold. I bet it's below 40 degrees. Uh, you can see your breath when you breathe. <laughs> your breath when you breathe. You can see your breath when you breathe? <laughs> Weird. Weird. All right, 30 upper 30s and uh, yeah it's chilly um, we skipped out on dinner we both were kind of full we ate food earlier and it just didn't seem worth the time so we hung the bear bag um, it's in a very safe high spot far away from camp so feel pretty good about it we're just gonna have a fire and hang out and yeah we'll see you in the morning peace peace out hag wilderness hag wild oh yeah we got the hag wild merlot merlot Good morning, everyone. It's a very chilly morning, surprisingly chilly. Um, gonna get our stuff from the bear hang. I understand that that is probably not high enough. It looks like the paracord slacked quite a bit. It was probably two feet higher, taller than that. But anyway, it's hard in these pines. It's not ideal for hanging bear bags. Um, that was really the only limb that was like sticking out that far. So don't judge me on my bear bag hanging ability.
There's nothing like a good butane regulator valve. Right, Jerry? Am I right or am I right? Am I right or am I right? Am I right? I dismiss. Always Chevy. <laughs> Finished product. This one has some more crispy ones. Putting out the fire. You can just dip it in there. Oh, fill up the water like that. Another couple of those and I'll be 100% confident that that is completely out, you know? Yeah. Oh, it's so nice being around water. Not have to hike a mile round trip to get water. Alright guys, we're hiking out of here, had an awesome trip, no people, really sweet, so we're just soaking up the views from this meadow here, and uh, yeah, thanks for joining us, catch you next time.